Hello and welcome along to another video. This is Jarex Q. You may also know me as Brent. And today's video, I am super excited about this one. It's going to be about Nobby's Lighthouse, as you may have guessed from the title. Nobby's Lighthouse in Newcastle, Australia is an iconic location in the Hunter Valley. Many people have seen images of the beautiful spot, especially after it was made more famous when the Pasha Bolka was stranded on Nobby's Beach in 2007. But did you know that originally, this entire section of land wasn't here? Before we talk more about when the lighthouse was built and how it is today, let's go back to September 1797. Enter Lieutenant John Shortland. Lieutenant John Shortland was the first European to explore the area. He discovered it by accident when he was chasing some convicts who had stolen the HMS Cumberland. While returning from his pursuit, Lieutenant Shortland entered what he later described as a very fine coal river, which he named after New South Wales Governor John Hunter. He returned with reports of the deep water port and the area's abundant coal. Over the next two years, coal mined from the area was the New South Wales colony's first export. Back then, there was no Nobby's Head. There was only a small islet called Coal Island. Before the lighthouse was built, there was a small coal fire on Signal Hill from 1804, which could be seen for about seven kilometres. Coal Island, which originally stood over 60 metres high, was joined to the mainland by causeway that was begun in 1818 and later completed in 1846. In 1854, it was intended to blow the island away to improve the harbour. But strong public protests stopped the destruction. However, the island was reduced to a mere 25 metres to allow for the construction of the lighthouse and signal station in 1858. The original 20,000 candle power light was attended by three keepers. In 1935, the light was converted to electric operation and demand. Based on these historic drawings of what it looked like back then, here's an image that I made of what it may look like today if it had never been changed. If you'd like to visit this beautiful location, you can visit on any Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to go and get a closer look at this historic spot. This has been Brent and I'm really glad that you could join me for this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, well, you can hit dislike as well. I hope to see you again soon and goodbye for now.